Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain and cover the Commons Power Command PCC 2100 series baseboard complete wiring and all connectors wiring explanation. This is the Commons Power Command controller which is used for the Commons generator starting. We not able to cover this complete wiring diagram in one videos we are divided this complete wiring diagram explanation and three videos this is the part number one which we covers here as you can see tb1 customer input tb2 customer output and also j1 connector j7 connector j3 connector j8 connector j6 connector this is the all connector of the commons pcc 2100 series baseboard which is part number C35381. So today only we explain TB1 customer inputs connection, TB2 customer output connection and also explain the J7 connector all pin out and pin in. Before the starting the video I small request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get in more latest update video so let's get started as you can see here this is our tb1 our tb1 have from pin 1 to pin 22 pins okay we are starting from pin 1 this is our tb1 as you can see tb1 pin number 1 is used for remote start tb one pin number two is used for the remote e stop that means emerg emergency stop remote stop as you can see here it, this is the tb1 pin number three is start for remote rest when you want to finish the remote starting you can use this tb1 pin three okay how this points is work this point is work when you apply the ground this will activate it when you want to run your generator in a remote start you can apply only battery negative on it the tb1 pin number one through the relay when the relay is an energized relay providing battery ground to tb1 to input this generator is start automatically when you uh, select the auto mode of the control panel okay this all working on when you apply the battery ground this all points will be activated when you apply battery ground so next as you can see here tb1 pin number four five six and seven this is the customer input okay customer inputs one two three four this this is the optional you can use for any your purpose okay now move to for example if you want to use the customer input tb1 pin number four as you can use this for your required if you want to turning on and off some thing like uh, uh, auto change our switches or uh, contractors are really turning on and off you can use this points this pins okay customer input number one and two and three and also four okay now from tb8 to tb16 this is our out and off we are now finished the customer input okay now we are starting the tb2 customer output as you can see from 8 to 22 okay as you can see here out number one no normally open and out number one common out number two no out number two common out number three no out number three common out number four no out number four common as you can see here is the our common switches is diagram 
which is rating only have two amperes you can use for your per required okay if you want to turning on and off some things like a alarm some warning indication light and some buzzers you can use this context for your required okay now move to from pin start to pin 17 and pin 22 as you can see here the tb1 pin number 17 tb1 pin number 18 these two pins are, are jumped together and then make one wire and one wire is out here is a fuse 10 ampere and then out from the fuse as you can see here as we have another no contacts okay and from tb1 pin 19 this wire is going to this contacts and then out from this contacts 5 ampere fuse have another inside air the wiring route as you can see here this is going to j7 connector pin number 18 and also going to j7 pin number 9 and also going to j7 pin number 23 which is generator switch positive and also the generator switch positive as you can see from starting j7 top to bottom for the better understanding okay as you can see j7 pin 31 is coolant level positive j7 pin 32 is coolant level negative this is for the sensor okay our coolant sensor as you can see coolant sensor power coolant, coolant level sensor ground and uh, negative and also coolant level sensor ground as you can see this three connection for MPU magnetic pickup unit okay as you can see J7 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 and also J7 pin number 25 is a positive of the MPU and pin number 29 is a power negative and also pin number 3 33 J7 connector is a MPU ground okay this is the J7 pin number 30 is a sender power of the temperature sensor as you can see j7 pin 22 is a oil temperature power power means positive okay j7 pin number 26 is oil temperature common and j7 pin 21 pin number 21 is a 5 volt of the oil pressure op means oil pressure j7 pin number 13 is oil pressure out oil pressure sensor out j7 pin 17 is oil pressure common and j7 pin 24 is actuator positive and j7 28 is actuator negative okay now we remain this connection also this connection this connection this connection as you can see here how our starting circuit is works j7 connector pin 27 is a start solenoid out this is used for the crank as you can see here we have a crank relay and also the generator need to on the fuel and then crank as you can see the j7 pin number 10 is used for run run means to on the to fuel solenoid out to turning on the fuel before the starting and then cranking the engine to start okay also as you can see here j7 pin number one is battery input positive j7 pin number five is battery negative input and j7 pin number two is a battery positive input and also j7 pin number six is a ground okay ground means the the engine chases ground okay j7 pin number three is control battery positive okay which is coming from switches you can turning on and off 
as you can see here j7 pin 7 is a ground and j7 pin 4 is a control b positive and also j7 pin number 8 is a ground engine chases ground okay now this is our current transformer connection j7 pin number 11 is for ct1 okay s1 and s2 okay this is for the s1 and also j7 pin 12 ct1 common this is for the s2 all wire three phase three wire have three cities three is a common of all cities and three is a power as you can see here j7 pin number 15 is a ct2 positive for s1 and j7 pin 16 is for the ct2 common as you can see and also the last one j7 pin 19 is a ct3 power and also seat uh, j7 pin number 20 is ct3 common this is the part one to explanation of the pcc 2100 baseboard uh, commence power command controller wiring Please, if you want to understand complete the wiring diagram of Cummins PCC Baseboard 2100, watch the part 2 and also the part 3. Thanks for watching part first. See you in the next video. Goodbye.